It's now day number two on this event and we have been sleeping in the bus tonight and that was actually quite all right to be honest. So now we are going to take the car out for a quick drive on the track before breakfast. So we're gonna wake up a little bit. This event is so good. They started drifting at nine o'clock in the morning and we are now going to drift until nine at the evening. So 12 hours of drifting each day. And there are some like half an hours in between there with uh, like regular racing driving, not drifting, but it's such, such a short amount of time that you don't even notice. This event is called E30 Meets, but it's also for a lot of other BMWs and the past couple of years I've also opened up for other brands as well. So that's why I've seen some Supras and other cars here as well. So now let's get in the car and wake up a little bit. <laughs> Here, all of a sudden, the steering got really hard and I knew something was wrong. And I do remember from the first day of this event, I almost lost the serpentine belt. So now I actually think I have lost the serpentine belt. And that means nothing on the engine works. We don't have power steering. As you can see right here, it's super hard. We don't have water pump. We don't have nothing. It will not charge, nothing. So I think it was a good idea to just go back to the pits and hope that the car does not overheat. So now let's pop the engine and see how it looks under there. Okay, guys, we lost the rim. We lost the rim, yes. serpent belt. The serpent belt is gone. It's no longer there, as you can see. Yes. I think I have a new one with me. Hmm. Fuck two and spit And you see there, now we got a lot of coolant. That's because the water pump didn't work for a second, I think. Yeah. Let's find a new belt. I think I have it. Um, there we have one thing and... I don't know. Good thing I brought them in my van. Oh yeah! It's starting to rain now, so it's bad. But now we got the surfing belts. Oh yeah! So let's get those installed and see if that works. We got the new belt on, PK6 2000. Okay, so now let's fire up the car and see, see if everything is good. I think the car should be all good. Now it's finally time for some breakfast. Okay, now we are going to swap over the tires and before we do that, I wanna race the car a little bit. So you see right here, here we have the coilover adjustments right there and I want to raise the car even higher because I feel like it's a little bit too low and often when BMWs like this are low they get a little bit of camber so that's why I want to get it a little bit higher so I will get more positive camber. The wear I have on the tires right now are almost perfect but it could be a little bit better so uh, because I want to get the maximum amount of seat time I can out of my tires so that's why we're going to race it a little bit. And another reason why I'm going to race it is because I'm going to use my E60 
uh, summer wheels. So those are 17 and with five series offsets. And it's, they're not going to fit optimal and they're quite huge. Look at this. These are 225, 50, 17. I usually use 225, 45, 17. I brought these, so now let's get it even higher. It was much easier to just remove the shock to adjust this than to like adjust it the way you should. So now we got it to the height I want to. You see right there? Much higher. It's good. Now we can get the new wheels on. And I'm excited to see if the car feels any different. Maybe it will. Because it's much more tension in the spring now. So maybe it's harder? Yeah. Will it be harder because it's more tension? Perhaps. Okay, let's look at the height. Now it's been 17 wheels, 17 inch wheels, so. Wow, that was a lot better. That's a lot higher. That's good. It will. Because I was afraid that this will rub. Because you see, 5 series fitment on a stock 3 series arch. Not good. Soon we're going to go back out on track, but now it is raining. Look at that. There's a lot of cool cars there. We have a diesel E30 over there. Pretty cool. Now that it's raining a little bit, super nice to have the car under a tent. Oh, it's good. And we stayed in here pretty much late last night. That was pretty fun. Oh, good times. different to drive in the rain. I mean, super wet, super slippery, but a lot of fun. And I actually managed to do like a little bit of a backwards entry, so that was kind of cool. So I'm gonna try to do that some more now and go out back out on track. I am not too sure about the belt here. I, that may fall off again. The belt I had on earlier was the old belt. Now we got a new belt. So this should be better and it's quite tight as well. So hopefully it sits. So we are ready to try some backwards entries now in the pouring rain. Look at this, it's pouring down. This would be a lot better if it was sunny weather, but there's nothing we can do about this. And inside the car, it's dry anyway, so let's go back out on track. Mm -hmm. 